All right, I'm back. We're going to run an experiment now with uh, magnesium uh, instead of zinc in this and uh, see how that does. should produce more power, somewhere up close to 2 volts, I'm thinking. All right, so uh, this is our uh, copper coated graph oil. I'm going to put it on the bottom, and uh, this is a zinc uh, fire starter that I got. So uh, I just sanded it down some. I'll put the cleanest side on the on the, that. All right. So this is just pure titanium dioxide and distilled water. separator. And this is the cleaner side. We'll put it there. It's heavier too. It holds it together nice. I like that. Oops. Okay, so we have 176 I'm doing short now. Looks like it's dropping some, don't it? Yeah. down too far. Yeah. 4.3, drop it down to 3.2. Looks like it's going to hold around 3. Yeah. Not too bad with just that on it. Now let's see what the self-charge is like. Still climbing, starting to slow down now. 1.53. 4. Slowing down, but still climbing. Alright. <coughs> Now for the um, baseline testing of the battery, I can't use anything but titanium dioxide and graphite uh, in it. So I'm going to try now, we're just going to, um, I've mixed graphite and titanium dioxide together and I'm just going to paint that in there and we're going to see which is, uh, this performs a little bit better than the other way, then I will use this. For the, for the baseline testing instead of uh, just titanium dioxide with a piece of graph oil on it. Okay. And for this it doesn't even matter if it bleeds through or anything. So I'm going to put a little bit more on this side too. Make sure it's wet enough. Okay, we have 170, 
Well, it started at the same thing as it did last time, 177, and then drops it down some. Okay, so where is it going to stabilize? Just discharge it and let it come back. Still climbing fast. Uh, it looks like that's the way we'll go, and uh, I'll play around with the mixture of it and uh, get something that uh, performs pretty well, and that's where we'll start our test at. Alright, we're going to try one more thing here to see if uh, maybe it was the lack of alkaline material in the titanium dioxide that made it uh, bleed off there when we put the cell together. So we're going to uh, start over here and uh, shit, I shouldn't have stuck that in there first. Wash it off. This is titanium dioxide with a little trisodium phosphate in it to alkalize it. And we're going to put that on the, on the anode. And then now I'll put the, this on the anode. where it was going to drop down to probably and you see it's holding and slowly climbing so uh, it's missing the alkaline material in there oh let's see what it uh, when the discharge is now and we also know that we can put a little more uh, graphite in there and get a am I on the wrong side here Okay, now let's see what we got. Yeah. Oh, I'm on 10 amps. No wonder. Shit. Oh, yeah, 13. So, definitely better. So, I should have a pretty nice cell by the time uh, we're ready to go. I'm going to hit that again with a little pressure on it. 18 something. And I know it wouldn't charge it all the way back up. Let's see, check the recharge real quick too. 
seven, nine. Yeah. Recharge looks even faster too. So it looks like for the uh, for the battery test, rather than use the trisodium phosphate because it's got phosphate ions in there, we're just going to use. Uh, I'll go back to lime, so it's, it's uh, not going to be be less ions in there. Still climbing. Okay. Thanks for watching. I thought I was done, but I'm not. There's another step that we, I need to take. So uh, this time, I'm gonna just put um, graphite on the uh, cathode, just to hold more charge. Separator paper. And, and then we'll put our titanium dioxide and graphite. And this time, no um, trisodium phosphate, just because we know if it bleeds down a little bit, it's because of the no alkaline in it. But we'll just start with this. You can see it's dropping down because of the. So we need uh, graphite, more graphite on the positive side to hold more charge. And we need alkaline on the negative side to keep it from bleeding off. Okay, let's see what kind of amps we got. Here we go. We climbed up. tells me what what we need to do to max it out without any electrolytes or anything in it. Boost the graphite on the positive side and add a little graphite to the negative side. Okay, I just wanted to check that. I was pretty sure that I didn't expect it to boost his voltage up quite that far, but that's what it takes. Huh? So I'm going to shoot for uh, two volts for the for the battery test. Woohoo! All right, I think I'm done. Thanks for watching. Here's a piece of magnesium I ordered today for the battery test, and it's uh, four by six inches in uh, area and uh, it's one millimeter thick which should allow the electrode to slip right in the little slot on the uh, pH tester so uh, or sensor so uh, anyway and that'll the time that comes in I should have the uh, test chamber uh, finished up and uh, we'll be ready to start testing thanks again for watching